them high enough and see the beauty, the beauty of the world like a bird soaring across the skies. It's quiet here today. It's Tuesday morning, just after 6 a.m. It's a great time to travel when it's also busy. People are most likely going to work. They're not up yet. Probably some people will be waking up this time or doing meditations down below. I see my life as a meditation a whole day. I try and be focused and present in every moment. You take everything in. If you're up here in your mind, you're not present at all. Your thoughts and memories are of the past or the future. They're not always in the present moment. And I'm not perfect. I'm here to perfect myself as best as I can. And those that have known me in the past know me. They know me as what they remember. And I'm forever changing and growing and healing in many different areas. Things that I'm consciously aware of. Other things that I'm unconsciously aware of things that happen that I have no control of or awareness of and yeah you know every step that we take we approach our destination wherever that may be but along the journey it's important to enjoy the journey you know because there's no rush or anything, we'll get there, but you also have to have persistence and motivation in life to get where you want to be. And that takes energy, mental energy, physical energy, you're always most likely, in most situations, going to have enough energy to get to where you want to go. But your body can't follow with your mind if your mind is holding it back and if you have undealt stuff within your life then it's going to feel tired emotional baggage and problems weigh heavier than the physical body and important to remain clear clear content in every decision of your life so that you may have a clearer future ahead of you, a clearer path. <laughs> and as I take the final step, we look back behind us and see all the steps that we have taken to the clear road ahead, perhaps the portal, or the destination to be in this spot. See everything clearly around us, but even though we are high up than anything on this island right now, we still can't see everything. And you feel like you've reached the top, and you can see a wider view of reality, but still you haven't reached the level. As you can see, even if that is your destination to be, you still can't see everything around you. There's this, uh, this uh, monument, this building, blocks our view of everything around.
forgiveness. What is forgiveness? It's not so much coming from other people, but coming from the self. You know, as humans, we're not perfect. We have our flaws, we have our past, we have our problems. We're not defined by it. The past is what makes us who we are. And our past, although traumatic sometimes, or positive, is having a balance in life. Having a balance to be your true self, to be free from pains and suffering. And the pain and suffering that we have is usually the suffering and pain that we cause to ourselves because we hold on to that. If we are truly healed from our past, then we can move on. And I felt like I've moved on a lot. But I hold on to memories of people, of places. And that's normal to do so because we wish things, we have dreams, memories. If we had no memories, we'd be very numb, <laughs> which is good in some way, but we're not robots. And robots don't hold on to resentment or pain or memories, relationships and friendships, co-workers, pets, animals, family. You know, we're here in this earth life system to learn, to grow, to expand. Along the way, we're going to meet many different interesting people who educate us, inspire us, guide us. And we're searching for parts of ourselves and others. And that's what I've come to realize is that the people that I've connected with, we, we share a common bond, a similarity, a synchronicity that is forever echoed in dreams and waking life memories. Life gives us truly everything. It's down to us to let go, to forgive, to say sorry to those that perhaps we've hurt. We're humans. We don't intentionally hurt people, but we hurt people along the way sometimes by our actions, by the way we trigger people. Not intentionally ever. Sometimes it does happen to some people that they intentionally hurt others. But for me, for my story, I've never intentionally went out my way to hurt anybody. It's only because I was hurt during the process. But all that's cleared now, many, many years later. The people who were toxic in my life have now left. And now I surround myself with people who are respectful, truthful, honest, playful, positive. Yeah, they're emotional, they're sensitive, but not damaged. We're all damaged to some degree, but the people that I surround myself now, who I choose to be around with, who I appreciate and I love, are in my life because I see that there is a bond of friendship, of connection. And that trust, and there is always hope. And I learned recently that nothing can kill hope. <laughs> the pigeon looking at me as I talk. Just thought recently I wanted to share stories of my life, just as I used to do. I had been a bit quiet for a few years, been into a lot of education, research, studying, and self healing. And there's always something to heal. This is why we're here to learn, to grow, to experience, to explore, to connect. Otherwise, life wouldn't have a purpose or a meaning to discover things, to open up psychically and explore the dream worlds and waking life and to be more aware. It's all about awareness, in my eyes anyway. So I just thought I'd share. As I hear the winds, I hear the winds of change in all four directions, north, south, east and west. The wind doesn't come from above, but from around us. The wind blows away the debris and the cobwebs that are within our soul, renews us. And when we come to a place of magical mystery and wonder, we 
when we're surrounded by nature and green, the colour of green and blues in nature, it reminds us of our true nature. And that true nature is being true to ourselves. As I look out into the horizon, the distance, as I see in my dreams, vivid in my dreams, I see the same terrain outward, out, outwardly looking beyond the horizon. And I know there's a part of me out there somewhere that's looking back, waiting to be discovered. And that, my friend, is the hope that we hold on to. That there are parts of ourselves scattered beyond the universe. That only a small aspect of us is right here, right now, in this present moment. Because we're meant to learn. We're meant to learn here. Have a good day. Thanks for listening. If you got this far, peace and love to you all.